today we're going to go ahead and check out this overgrown yard. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to My Green Lawn. Today we are called out on a new account. This thing is overgrown. I already walked the backyard looking for sticks and made debris that I might run into. But uh, check this thing out. Yeah, lots of dandelions here. Some tall grass in spots. It's all overall, it's pretty full of dandelions and does not look good at all. I still have to walk the front yard. So what I want to do is I want to walk the property since I don't know it. Look for any holes, divots, any any sticks, debris that might be hidden, tall grass. Don't see anything so far. We have leaves and paper all in the corner over here. All this has to be picked up. There's the backyard. I already picked up a bunch of sticks that were in the backyard. Oh, I missed a actual branch. So we have a big plant here. Just looking for any debris, holes. I could step into rocks like this one right here. I want to pick that up and throw it somewhere. We'll keep, we'll keep looking here. Okay, this is the back. We have a temporary phone line running through here. It was on the lawn. I moved it to the side. A lot of tall grass back here. One bunch of dandelions and weeds. In the corners of the fence have a lot of debris. Leaves and stuff over here. All along there. Okay. Okay, I just realized something. These are tiny gates on both sides. I'm not gonna be able to get a mower back there. I'm gonna have to push it. I do have a push mower, but I wasn't planning on pushing it, but now that's really of a bummer. And the gate over here is also pretty small. Yeah, see? I'm not going to fit my mower through there. There's no way. I'm going to have to push this stupid thing.
Okay, I just measured the gate right here and it's about 42 inches. The John Deere with the bagger on it, it's about a little over 40. I'm gonna take the chutes and stuff out, but I'm gonna leave the bagger thing on there. Um, let's see if I can fit it through this gate. I'm not sure, I really don't wanna push the back, but if I have to, I have to. There's a long story behind the Toro Time Master, the 30 inch Toro Time Master, what I did to it. That story was gonna come up a little later, but it might come up now. Let's just keep moving though. Okay, it looks like the John Deere is gonna work, so we're gonna go ahead and use the S240 out back. I had to take everything off though to get through the gate. I think it's gonna fit now. So let's bring it back there and check it out. bad news I did measure the width of the mower but I forgot to take in consideration the deck which sticks out further on the one side here right <laughs> what an idiot all right I'm gonna have to push it so here's the deal over the weekend I was trying to squeak by the trailer and the and the time master and I didn't quite make it, so I was backing up. And when I looked over, I was sitting on top of the tire with the zero turn, and I, I bent the tire. So we're actually in the process of picking one up at Toro right now, um, but it's not on there yet, so I don't think it's gonna hold up. It's probably gonna just break right off. See this piece of plastic right here? If you can see that or not. It's all, it's all broken right here so this wheel is probably just gonna fall right off of here I'm hoping if I'm careful I can go ahead and mow with it well that sucks let's see what happens Arr! tell me something doesn't that look mean from the back I know it's just an s240 but look at that that looks mean man that looks mean <laughs>
Thanks for joining us here on My Green Line. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in the green. You have yourself a great day. Take care. Man, I'm exhausted. Here we go. Blah, 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 blah.